Hello there. This is going to be a general reading. Yes. For all signs. We did two yesterday and we got to hit it while the iron is hot, as they say, because that's what we do. I read energy. Pardon me, I will be sipping my coffee throughout this. All right, here we go. This is for all signs. It's general. Someone refuses to see something. Could be you. Someone, same fucking energy. Refusing to receive this, refusing to see it. It's like spirit gives it to them on a silver platter. It's highlighted, right? This full moon's highlighting things. Something is so obvious. It's so obvious. Now, whether it's an obvious decision that has to be made, letting someone go, whether this is so obvious, see, it's highlighted. See how the hermit has his lantern, shines the light. It tells us what this moon was. It highlights it. If it's there, it's amplified. What has been hidden is revealed. It's that kind of an energy. What's been hidden will be revealed. Ten of swords, you know, something has to end. Walking away, but then something new begins. This feels like someone new. I was enchanted to meet you. An ending must happen first. When at Ten of Swords, it's over. Some of you walked away, let go of something or someone, and you let this come right in. It's like in queue, it's like waiting in line. This is action, this is movement. It's like as soon as you clear the way, that it bursts right through. It feels like a, it's either a new opportunity with a person or just a new opportunity. It could be in, in work or career, but it's action, right? Someone offers, someone does something. I think some of you bitches are meeting someone new if you haven't already. Like an enchanted encounter with a stranger. Look at that Knight of Wands. It just, just, oh, there, it was just, I went to the store. There they were. It's real lusty too. These are, it's too, it's, I mean, that's sexual energy. It's primal, it's carnal. It's extreme sexual attraction. Oh my God, new beginnings. I told you something new. I mean, don't get me wrong, that could be commitment, union, but it's new beginnings. It's 1111. This 1111 portal that we just had was very different unlike any we've had before. They're always powerful, you know what I mean? But this particular one, I, I can't even explain it. It was like the opportunity to literally manifest exactly what you wanted for it to like walk in in the like actual real 3D. There's seven of swords here. See something that was hidden. Someone didn't want to see something. They were hiding something. They weren't being honest about their feelings. And it feels like the feminine was queen of cups. She's like, this is how I feel. This is who I am. This is what I want. This is what I deserve. And someone here was fucking confused. And we're not dealing with that bullshit. If you're confused, that's great. That's wonderful. Go be confused over there. You know what I mean? It's like, fuck that. Let's do a midnight hour. Mmm. What was that? Wow, look at that. You ever heard of the saying, don't count them out? It ain't over till it's over. Clock tower, countdown, midnight hour, perfect timing. This could be meeting someone at the very last second. Let's look what's on the bottom of the deck. It could be meeting someone at the last second. Um, but it's also like countdown. It's like the final seconds. They have seconds left. If it's someone that you've already been entertaining. It's like, 
okay, we're gonna give them 30 seconds. And it's like the countdown to zero is like nerve wracking. It reminds me of like in Never Been Kissed at the ending when she's like waiting on the baseball field for Mr. Coulson to come and it goes to zero, right? The countdown and he doesn't show up. And then she's really disappointed, right? She's like really fucking sad. Like, wow, shit, I thought it was him. I thought he felt the same way. And then all of a sudden there's like a stir in the crowd. And then like she starts to see the crowd kind of like, stirring and moving around and then he comes and he's like sorry it took me forever to get here and she's like yeah I know what you mean <sighs> I've said it for years that some of them could come at the midnight hour which tells us they would come at the very last second now is this the new one Did you meet the new one at the last second? When you were waiting for the old one? And this possible. But this also tells me that it's any second now. It's any second now. It's any, it's any, it's at any fucking moment. Any given moment. Now the locked gate. Someone was just completely closed off. I mean, what the fuck are you supposed to do with that? You guys know the drill. If you're new here, Girl, you ain't got to tell me we don't accept crumbs. Bitch, I said that in 2017. I see a lot of comments like, well, we don't wait. I mean, bitch, obviously. ABC's one, two, threes. I, my job is to read the energy and give you the best advice I can. It's your job to do what the fuck you know you're supposed to do. Up in this bitch, we don't wait. We don't accept fucking crumbs. We don't do third party. We don't believe in delusion. But we do believe in magic. And we do believe that everything we've ever wanted could manifest if we're the right vibration. We believe in self-love and focusing on our shit. We do not believe in chasing and forcing and manipulating situations. What's for me will always be for me. So I relax. Okay? But we got to read what the energy is. And if the energy is complicated and fuckery, this is what it is. Doesn't mean you have to partake in it. Doesn't mean you have to accept it. It's just what it is. Now, the locked gate means something was not available. I almost feel like it just opens up at that last second. This could be a person. They literally wait till the very last second to open up. And we don't got to hear it. Well, I'm not going to do that. Okay. <laughs> well, you don't got to tell the world all of that. You know it. And that's what's important. Don't focus on your energy on being angry or upset or hy hyphy about it. It's simple. It's ABCs, one, two, threes. If they're not open, it's a no. If when they finally open up, you're not feeling it, it's a no. It's simple. It's, we don't get our feathers ruffled over that. Remember, you stay in a fucking high vibration to manifest beautiful things. But I feel like this is something that opens up at the last second. I know. I know. Fuck oh, that. Okay, we'll see when it comes. <laughs> see, there it is there's a possibility spark that you see how this is new beginning bitch i like i said i felt like some of you were meeting a new person i mean fucking enchanted encounter with a stranger but some of you <laughs> that gate that you it's like you had a little funeral in your head right you had like this goodbye ritual. <laughs> Little boy, look at that, bitch. You can't make it up. The sparks. I know. I know. Sparks is lust, desire, chemistry. Didn't I tell you it was lusty? I told you. I fucking told you. It's lust. It's chemistry. It's physical attraction. How that could be with someone new. Told you what's hidden will come to light. Look at the fucking card. This is hidden. God damn, it's like I'm psychic or something. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Two things. <clears throat> this could be meeting someone when you're kind of sort of canceling someone out, right? Releasing, saying goodbye because the door doesn't open, the gate doesn't open, their heart doesn't open. They don't take action, there's no movement. Someone new could come in. 
I know for some of you, yeah, for some of you, <laughs> the person that was off limits, not open, opens up at the very last fucking second. And there's something about this moon. I told you this moon feels like it reveals it. It amplifies it. It highlights things that have been hidden, most especially feelings, because it's what the full moon does. It evokes feelings in people. What was hidden will come to light. It's just what it is. Something that was hidden. Could it be a hidden person? A new person? A oh, fucking obviously. But for some of you, it's that other one. Look at that. Wine country, here we come. Gathering, socialization, the sisterhood, this feminine's focusing on herself as she should. It's giving me power of three. See, there's three people in that picture. Power of three. It's like, it's like charmed. You may have had a gathering with like-minded individuals. You guys may have been manifesting together. You may have been bouncing ideas off of each other. I mean, if you want to channel with an intuitive bitch, now is the time to do that because the energy is just amplified. So you're going to come up with a tune in, right? And you're going to be channeling and all these other bitches will too. See that? But you got to be careful because not everybody knows, not everybody's intuitive enough to, um, everybody has that capability, but not everybody is to the capacity that, I mean, some of us are, right? So it's like, I got to bounce ideas off of people that I know I can trust their decisions, but also their intuitive Miss. I don't know. Anyways, here we go. There's a possibility. The bridge was communication. It literally says overcoming barriers. Unite. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past someone's coming in at that last fucking second. New, old, both. See, told you, open. The gate fucking opens. The key, look at what the words say on there. Do you see how it fucking says open, unlock? You had the locked gate earlier. It's like I'm making it up. Just, it's because I fucking read the energy. It's what it is. The cards are going to reflect it. I told you this moon is going to reveal and that locked gate's going to fucking open. Now, is it a new person? For many of you, yes. But for some of you, it's both. It's old and new. This is communication. Communication unlocks it. You have the loons, which is deep fucking commitment. Also says manifesting deep desire. I told you that's what some of you were doing. You were manifesting it uncommon bonds have you ever met a stranger and just like clicked with them in a non-sexual way not a one night stand or anything like a date or anything but like have you just ever met a stranger and you fucking clicked i mean i have in fact just recently and it's not romantic it's not sexual but obviously that energy is there but it's just like I don't know like a deep connection with someone that the universe just says hey these two people need to cross paths and meet and sometimes we meet them for a moment and we don't exchange info so you don't know if you'll ever see them again and chances are you probably won't but it doesn't mean you weren't meant to meet for 15 minutes an hour a day Look at how the cards are. I'm going to show you what I see. See what's showing? Love interest. Mm -hmm. A love interest. Period. That is all. The woman. The stallion. Strong sexual emotion. I said that it was fucking primal and carnal. The desire. The lust. 
there it is. Someone is extremely sexually attracted to this feminine. It's almost like the gate burst open, the locked gate, because of the desire. See, it even says strong emotions, and that's what the moon's going to do. Moon's just going to amplify the shit. <sighs> Icing on top, and there's communication. Oh, yeah, communication's coming in for some. Could also be communicating with someone new a stranger that you just meet. It's like one of the best convos or connections that you've ever fucking had with someone. It's the icing on top. Thought the cake was delicious. The icing is like, oh my God, it's like a bonus. Wow. This communication came up twice with the card earlier. There's some type of interaction with someone and it's better than you thought it would be icing on top ceremony this is some sort of a gathering could be a wedding could be a birthday it's some sort of a gathering it's funny because we had that earlier the gathering card the gathering wow elusiveness that's what was hidden remember what's hidden is going to be revealed there it is bitch there fucking is new love. Told you. Fucking told you. Mm hmm. New love. Hip hip hooray. Look at that pink potion. It's like a love spell. It's like being intoxicated. It's like under um, some kind of like elixir. Enchanted, bewitched. Yeah, that's what the connection's like. It's like. It's like a love spell. It's not a love spell because we don't put spells on people against their will. Can we do a love spell to amplify self-love and call in love that's for us? Yes, but don't you be putting a fucking love spell on somebody's ass, especially a married motherfucker, someone who doesn't want to commit and it's against their free will. Oh, I totally forgot to tell you guys. Um, last night, I put up pre-orders for my money, <clears throat> money magnet candles as well as the money magic, money magnet oils. I shared without even thinking too. I didn't think it was a big, I thought you guys knew what the fuck they were. They're intention candles. But recently, like last week or so, I shared that I was reading some of my DMs that I didn't get a chance to read. And somebody had mentioned they lit their candle and then they won a jackpot and they sent me a picture. It was fucking amazing. But that's not the first one. Not only that, every time I light it, money comes in. And so I was going to do a small batch for me. <laughs> I always keep the extras if I have extras of the money candle. Because they're potent. It's, it's candle magic. It's fire. <sighs> so anyways, I put up pre-orders for that. You'll get it before the new year starts. So by the end of the month of December, you'll get them. Um, I wouldn't wait either. I don't know what people thought. They're like, I didn't know that that would do that. Like, bitch, you know how much time I spend on these, my products? It's very specifically certain herbs, crystals, my money candles. If you see the pictures of them on my website, there, I, I, a lot goes into them. But you have to light it with the intention of manifesting and being a money magnet. You can't just do shit and be all, oh, we'll see. I fucking hope so. It's not going to work. Save your money. Let somebody else buy it who believes. Now, because see, love don't pay our motherfucking bills. See, you see what the point in that is? So I'm not just going to focus on, I want to manifest just love. Now, bitch, my money is love. <laughs> okay? I'm a Capricorn moon, honey. Money is my love language. This is about love coming in without you having to do anything. So now we're going to focus on us and manifest our fucking coins. Um, it's like a love spell. I don't know how else to put it. They're self at first sight. Oh my God. 
God, it's like I'm fucking psychic or something. Oh my God. Oh my God. Of all the fucking cards that could come out, it's Love Potion. Doubt me. <laughs> Please. Oh my God. It's like I'm fucking psychic or something. This is my deck. I created this. It's called the Pink Potion deck. It's my deck. Crimson Secrets I created, my Midnight Hour I created, as well as my C'est La Vie, which is hidden right here. Bitch, I told you, it's like a love spell. It's like a love potion. You know what's funny? For some of you, where this is someone from, you know, that's kind of already been in the mix, they felt it at first sight, and then they went and they hid it. Remember? They hid it. They hid it. And they tried to bury it. This moon just, if you meet someone new, it's the same fucking concept. It's like at first sight. It's like a deep soul connection. It's like two people drank fucking a love potion. It's like under a spell. That's what my enchanted products are for, to help us attract and manifest enchanting encounters. But sometimes those encounters aren't forever. Sometimes they are. I've never felt so close to meeting the love of my life. I'm not even bullshitting you guys. It's at any second. Sometimes I think, well, maybe I just met him. Maybe I just met him. But no full action has been taken. So I don't bank on possibilities. I leave, I'm open to them, but I don't put all my eggs in one basket, you, if, if you will. And I can feel this. It's any second. It's, it's just, I know it. I can feel it. I know it. It's what I do. I might not do a lot of things good, like shutting my mouth. Isn't, I can't do that well. One thing I do know what to do is read energy. Deja vu. It's like the stranger you recognize. It's like, have we met before? You seem so familiar to me. Do I know you? Yeah, that kind of a vibe. Do I know you? Have we met before? Motherfucker, yes, you've met before in a past life. It's a past life connection. It's like you're both drunk in love. That's what this is, like drunk in love. A love spell. Drunken love. It's mesmerized. It's like... It's like fucking deja vu. There's coffee date here too. Could be that you guys go out for coffee. You meet them while you're drinking something. It could be literally. Are you at a, a wedding at a bar? Are you with me in wine country? at first sight look at that head over heels it was at first sight now what's going to be really interesting whew, if for some of you it's the old and the new because lord have mercy <sighs> why do i say that's going to be interesting bitch you know why come on don't play all right may the best man win may the best woman win gonna be a duet duel it's gonna be a duel like Odin days with the fucking not literal but you know what I mean I don't know what to tell you except let's get into this extended I'm gonna do it on patreon a lot of you are shocked that there is so much to uncover on patreon I've been doing videos on there for quite a while so there's tons of timeless ones you'll know the difference because the ones that are attached to YouTube readings literally fucking say extended part two. These are extended part twos, but there's a fucking rabbit hole you can go under. So you pay that price per month and you have all that access. So if, if you're not a patron on Patreon, click below this video, the word more, you'll see the link. Check it out. I have a feeling that things from the past are coming to the present. It's coming full circle. So many of you keep, you know, writing me those things saying, oh my God, your old videos are like relevant now. I know. It's a time loop. We just, everything's connected. So have fun on Patreon. I go back and I watch some of my timeless readings there too. Because they're timeless. That means they, they don't expire. They're, they're good then, now, in the future. So enchanted pre-orders on my website saltwaterheelstarot.com or click this more the video right here below um the money magnet candles and oils please don't wait on that they're they're handmade in small batches so 
I don't put up tons of pre-orders for them and especially this time because I'm so busy with my meet and greet next month. It's Christmas. I have so much things to do next month so I'm not doing a lot. Jump on them. I don't sell products that I don't fully believe in. So I wear my bracelets, I light my candles, I use my oils, and I use my magic moon water. You guys should know me by now. I like top-notch shit. I got a Capricorn moon. I like quality. Shit with me takes a little bit longer, but it's quality. Trust me on this, okay? But you have to use it with the intention of what that's for. You can't just use it and be a negative Nancy, a fucking Mrs. Doubtfire. It's not going to work. You know what I'm saying? It just won't. It's period. So anyways, I'll see you in the extended, okay? Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Bye.